Oh my gosh. Jeez, you guys, it has been a freaking day. If you didn't know, um, today, Tuesday, August the 16th, was the deadline for NFL teams to get their rosters down to... Let me turn my microphone down just a little bit. Um, was the deadline to get their rosters down to 85 players, and then it becomes like 75 players, and then eventually you have to get down to the 53... Uh, the 53 man roster and that is the final cut and it's really it's literally like a goal and, and an accomplishment to make a 53 man roster um but guys i want to talk about the washington commanders and all the moves that they made today to um get their required 85 man roster and who they released um and a lot of people seemed to be upset about this one. The Washington Commanders released cornerback Troy Apke. They also released cornerback Devontae Bosby, who they just signed, I think, a few days ago. Offensive lineman Dion Calhoun. And um, they placed fullback Alex Armagh and tight end Samus Reyes on injured reserve, which does end their season. So they have released several players, and um, they signed it. I believe, like I said, they signed Bosby just a few days ago or pretty recently. I've been seeing that name on a lot of tryouts and workouts around the NFL. Um, but Troy Apke, let's go over what Troy Apke <laughs> Um, is for the Washington Commanders in 2018. Um, appeared in only two games. He didn't have any starts. He recorded one tackle. Uh, 2019, at the age of 24, he uh, appeared in 15 games, started two games. So that was the first starts of his career. He had one interception, two pass deflections, 26 total tackles, two tackles for loss. In 2020, Troy Apke played free safety, it looks like. So he may have been switched from cornerback to free safety that season. He did start seven games, which was the most of his career. He appeared in all 16 games in 2020. Um, he had two pass deflections, um, no interceptions, but he did record 35 tackles. 25 of those were solos. He did not record any tackles for loss, though. Um, and it looks like last year, 2021, he did go back to playing cornerback or defensive back um, because that's just what I'm seeing here on Pro Football Reference. Um, he did appear in all 17 games last season, but he did not start any of those. He recorded one uh, fumble recovery and only six tackles, and five of those were solo. So he did not really have as much production last year, um, only playing, but he did play in all of the games. So I'm not sure what that was all about. Um, you know, after a pretty solid two seasons right there for the playing time that he did get, uh, Troy Efke went from 2020 playing free safety, you know, starting seven games, uh, recording a career high 35 tackles to last year, not really recording much at all. Um, I'm not one to sit down and watch the Washington commanders too much. Um, but they did release him and, um, so we're going to see if he gets picked up by anybody else, maybe given the opportunity, but I'm sure you guys will see updates about that. Uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram for everything NFL news, guys, and also join that Discord server. Over 200 members, and like I said, crush that subscribe button. It would help me out very, very much. But here is your Washington Commanders roster moves for the day, getting their roster size down to 85 players. See you guys in the next video.